So the number one thing I wanna know is, do you use a single pin sight? And do you use a thumb button? That's the number one thing I wanna know out of this video. I wanna see how many people are doing it. All right. I don't think, I don't think the lighting is gonna to wanna to work with us today because the lake behind us is so bright. But. What's up everybody, welcome to Shield Outdoors. My lighting is probably not the best it could be right now. Probably because the, the water behind me is so bright. It's messing up my, uh, my color a little bit. But, clearly, I got myself a new bow. In the last video, all I did was show you this new bow. And I feel like it did pretty good. Got a lot of comments, a lot of attention. So I thought I would show you guys some of the stuff I put on there. And some of the, ah, uh, some of the accessories. This is my brand new Bowtech Solution SS. And I started completely new. I started all new this year. Every, every single item I use for bow hunting this year is gonna be brand new. I'm starting completely fresh. Even a new form. The guy at Cutting Edge The guy at Cutting Edge Archery in Greensburg, Indiana kind of like went over some tips of how to change my form because I have some shoulder mobility issues and I have not felt this confident in years. So I thought I would show you guys my new setup. I even went to a little thumb thingy, whereas I used to have a wrist wrap. Ah. Go see what that look like welcome to the channel my name is brad with shield outdoors if you're new to the channel if you would consider subscribing that would be amazing we do all kinds of hunting fishing amazon return pallets we do some ebay but the biggest thing i like to do is go hunting so as you can see not a bad group not too bad right almost all in that little circle I'm still shooting a little bit to the right, but I haven't zeroed in this sight yet, and we'll talk about that sight in one second. I'm shaking like crazy because I just got home from the gym. Let's yank these out. Let's get back over here, and I'll show you what I put on this bow. <sighs> All right, my color's just going to be messed up, I guess, because it's way too bright behind me, but I don't have any other time of the day to do this. So again, this is my Bowtech Solution SS. The last time you guys saw this, it was completely bare. I just showed you guys what I bought. So let's get right down to it. The three major things that I got for this bow this week were the HHA Tetra, HHA Sports Tetra. It is a single point sight, and that was new to me. So let's talk about that real quick. And if you're wanting to know the exact part number, it's the TTR5519. That's the exact part number. There's the picture on the back. Now, I used to have five pins. I think it was 25, 35, 45, 55, and then like 62 or something like that. And that's what I shot for like 10 years. I went to the single point. If you're not familiar, I have a wheel right here. And depending on how far my shot is, I will turn that wheel. Now, my first skepticism, I guess you could say, I was like, well, what if the deer's 20 and it spooks back to 40? There's a couple of great videos out there. Maybe I'll make one myself. There's a couple of great videos that show if you know what your bow shoots, you'll be just fine. In theory, if I turn my wheel to 30, I should be able to hit the kill zone from like 10 all the way out to like 45. In theory. I might have to make that video because it sounds crazy, but it makes sense in the long run. I might just have to make a video. If you want to see that video, comment below. But next the rest oh yeah and i forget what this cost me i want to say this was around 150 bucks but it, i love it so far absolutely love it next i put a qad ultra rest hdx full containment drop away arrow rest wow really the ac unit gonna do me like that um so i got this ultra rest and it came with some different parts and some different stuff um but i basically set it up just like this or I had it set up cutting edge set all this up for me since I was starting all brand new I wanted I wanted a whole new opinion for everything 
I wanted to change my form. I wanted to change everything. So he set all this up for me. Now, of course, Botex got like red in their emblem and their little deadlock system was red. So I got the QAD to match. Kind of looks cool, right? Kind of looks good. So I got this rest. It is a drop away rest, which means when I set the arrow up, right? It is, the arrow is contained in this little area. And then when I shoot, that falls. So it gets out of the way of the veins and all that stuff. That was about 135, I wanna say. But QAD, I mean, it's like, that's like industry standard, probably above standard. Excellent rest, no problem with that. Now, the big thing that I changed, oh, and he also, when he strung up my, uh, like my little peep sight, he put some red threads in there, which looks dope, and a red loop. So yeah, I did get the OD green. There's no camo to this bow, it's all OD green. And then I have like random red parts on there, which I thought that was kind of a cool, I thought that kind of looked cool. But one of the biggest changes, one of the biggest changes besides going to a one pin sight is I went to a thumb button trigger hunting handle release whatever you want to call it now i shot these when i was a kid but like back then like 20 years ago i thought that was like the amateur thing to have was a thumb button well now that people have been using it a lot i actually love it and i want to go back to i wanted to go back to it so i went back to a thumb button and this is a pretty cheap one this is pretty low end in the comparison to the big scheme of things because they have freaking releases that are like 400 dollars this one was like 110, I think. I think for the sight, the release, and the thumb button, I think I paid like 500. Not a bad, not not too bad. But this is the True Ball Max Pro Plus, and it's very very simple, very simple. Got a little wrist thing, and I probably would use this, especially in the hunting scenario, because by golly, if I don't drop this out of the tree stand as soon as a buck walks up, I probably need to order two and like keep one on the bow and keep one like in my coat pocket because I just promise you I'm gonna drop this sucker. But it does have an adjustable um, trigger, I guess you could say. I can, can I can spin it around this way. I can also buy different sizes of the actual button. It's pretty nice. Now, there was a big consideration in going to this. You can get some that you physically have to close. You can get some that only open like this. And there's some that you have to you latch it on and only the thumb releases it. I don't know the concept behind all of them, but I figured I like this the best. I can manually open and close it because if I'm hunting and I play with the camera with my right hand, I can reach down, look down, snap it on and be ready to go. That was my thinking. Also, I can snap this on and leave it on there. I can leave it hanging on the bow and not even have this attached to my wrist. So that's why I went with those items. Now, we'll really quick we're going to talk about my form so i have some shoulder mobility issues i my scapulas don't like to roll down and back like they should therefore i was shooting beforehand i was shooting my hand like this or kind of like that and i would draw back and i would be kind of like this the problem is my shoulder doesn't roll back out of the way and my bicep and my forearm were getting smoked so cutting edge in greensburg the owner, a freaking G, an OG in the bow world. So he goes, hey, you want to change your form? I got some changes if you're willing. I was like, yep, let's do it. He was like, I want you to hold the bow with two fingers, curl these under. So now my hand is kind of canted a little bit and it kind of cants my arm out of the way and helps relax that shoulder back. And then on top of that, I don't stand straight like this anymore. I kind of keep my feet at a 45 degree angle. So now the bow is already away from my arm as compared to here. Here's my string when I am holding it straight out to the side. Now I kind of have a more relaxed 45 and I love it. I am shooting more consistently. I've only had this bow set up for five days and I'm shooting more consistently five days in than I did for 10 years with that other bow. I did shoot okay, especially when I was like when I was like a teenager, when I was like 18, 19, 20, I shot all the time. When I lived in a trailer in the ghetto, I would shoot rabbits and possums that would try to get under my house, my trailer. I would shoot them on a daily basis and be just fine. But I want to be the best I can be. 
there is a difference in precision and accuracy. I wanna be precise and I wanna be accurate. So that is my setup. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment below what you think about this stuff. The Tetra, HHA Tetra, the QAD, and the True Ball. Let me know, the number one thing I wanna know is, do you use a single pin sight? And do you use a thumb button? That's the number one thing I wanna know out of this video. I wanna see how many people are doing it. I knew I wanted to completely switch it up. And if I don't like this, no problem. I can change next year. But I wanted to try something completely new. I wanted to see how I would like it. You gotta have an open mind. In archery, in hunting, in fishing, te technology advances so much, you gotta have an open mind. Sure, you can do it the way you've been doing it. Sure, you can do it. You don't have to spend a lot of money to kill deer. You don't have to buy the newest, latest, and greatest everything to kill deer. This was the first bow I've bought in 10 years. Actually, probably about 15 years. Trust me, you don't have to spend a ton of money to kill a deer. But I wanted to try something new. I wanted a new form. And I think we're gonna be just fine. I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment below what you think. Drop a comment below if you use a thumb button and if you use a single pin sight. If you want a more in-depth video about each item, let me know in the comments. This was just a quick overview of what I've done in the last week. I'm gonna let you guys go so I can go take a nap. Peace. I almost forgot to talk about my arrows. I went to, I've always shot the Maximas or at least since they've had them out. I went to the Maxima Red 350 spine. I'll probably throw on some Luminox or even maybe one of those like Bluetooth light up Nox. Got the blazer veins on this bad boy. And yeah, it's a really good shooting arrow, feels good. Now obviously these might not shoot good out of everybody's bow, but they seem to shoot good out of mine so far. Um, and these were about $16 each. Price to pay for good equipment.